six exercises, you know, hard as I could possibly can, and then all of a sudden I can't move for, like, three straight days. Like, I can't squat, I can't bend over and tie my shoe. Like, it's all the bad ways to bend over. And I just have that horrible problem, so I'm trying to... What I've had to do was to tap into different levels to get me past that pain. Today is the best they felt from Saturday. Saturday. It's Thursday. It shouldn't take me that long to recover. Historically, it's never taken me that long to recover, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. But it got me thinking, you know, what do I need to um, to keep my head keep my head, right? To keep my cool, to keep myself pursuing my goals, my dreams, my short-term goals, my long-term goals, my daily goals, without completely just jumping off the wagon, you know, into the bush of snakes and spiders and, you know, mentally damaging myself. So, that's going to be the topic for today. Things like motivation, things like positive self-talk, um, words of affirmation, um, and even, I mean, how to ch channel anger. Um, I got really angry earlier today over something really stupid. So, like, what can I, what can I do to channel that to make it more useful? So, first, things first. Make sure you give the channel a subscribe, give the video a like, and, you know, let me know in the comments below um, what you do when you are kind of feeling mentally out of it and you really need to step up your game. You need to level up in your mind to get past the soreness from a workout, past the displeasure from a boss at work, um, past the people you work with or people that you work with, not at work, but you know, work with in life. Um, that really can, can get you feeling a little funky. Um, and what you do to level up and get past that and channel that to, to a, be a better you. Um, before we get started with that, we got to do our X and Sledge product of the day. The X and Sledge product of the day is Ignition Switch. Ignition Switch is their lower of their two stim pre workouts. This is the watermelon lemonade flavor. I am not a fake watermelon person, and this tastes really good. Um, I'm also not a stim pre-workout person, and this works. It helps me focus in the gym. It gets my like my laser, <laughs> my laser eyes going <laughs> to what I need to do during that workout. Um, it tastes good. It works really well. It's only got 150 milligrams of caffeine, which is low for a stimulant pre-workout. Um, and I like the sounds it makes. And I think it's because it's more full than most of the containers I currently have. Um, I've used it probably four or five times, but the scoop's really small. And the amount of product to emptiness of the container is, is, is a really good ratio. So that makes me happy too. fitness athletes. 
things. Um, or did you find a person's body? You like how the look is and you're trying to emulate that. Um, it's amazing how, what different motivation people need. Um, there was a time when I needed somebody to tell me I was a complete piece of ish, for lack of better words, um, to get me into that, like, okay, I gotta prove you wrong sense. Not so much like that anymore. Um, I'm kind of at a different, different level since I'm not competing in multiple. This hair is bugging me. Um, since I'm not competing in multiple sports or fitness ventures uh, anymore, I'm, you know, I got a different mindset. Um, and I, I need different motivation now. Most of my motivation now is not necessarily to get out of bed, but it's to um, to make sure I get my activity in, to make sure I get I do the work I need to do to reach my goals in the fitness realm. Um, another way is words of affirmation. Basically, the you are doing good, you are great, you are a smart person, you are a you know you are strong, uh, you are. Um, you are really good at what you do. Um, you will kill the workout. You will get that promotion. You you are working hard. It's showing that you're working hard. And I feel like there's there's two schools of thought on this one. There's the people who will say, no, you have to be a hard ass the whole time. Um, from the perspective of like, yeah, that's great, you did that, but you should have been able to do that a while ago. Or well, what about this? Or what about that? I always with the, you know, forward, forward level of thinking. Um, or the, but but don't get me wrong. There's there's always a need for. Um, you you've done great today. You've really uh, worked your butt off to get where you are today. So let's set the next goal. That's what it should be. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of the, personally, of the, um, you are amazing, you're so amazing that you've done this, it might have taken you eight years to get there, but I'm, you're such an amazing person for doing that, you know, I'm, for me it's priorities, right, I don't like to set eight, ten, I mean five year goals are even hard for me to set because everything changes so much daily uh, in my life, so, I, I like to set realistic goals with realistic time frames and set up plans that are realistic. I'm a very realistic person. Realistic. Realistic. So, uh, but but there are people that need um, that need to be told that they're amazing. That need to be told they're on the right path. They're doing great things, and I feel like there's a level of that that is definitely needed. Um, whether it's in the workplace, in the gym, uh, even from your spouse or significant other. Um, the next one I do a lot of, of tapping into a different way of thinking, uh, self-talk. I talk to myself all the time. The most, the biggest place I talk to myself is in the shower. Is that weird? Maybe. But I do some of my best thinking uh, and best self-talk in the shower. Um, maybe it's because I finally have given myself some time by myself to, to get my stuff together. Um, but I, I use self-talk a lot when I'm lifting. Um, like I said, when I'm in the shower, when I'm at work, since I'm working from home at a computer all day, um, I, give my, I talk to myself all the time. I always have music or, uh, you know, the television on or something in the background, but I, uh, I talk to myself all the time, sing out loud, but a lot of it is, is this, is the self-talk of get this done, then you can do that, or setting up a plan of action of how I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So I, uh, I, I think self-talk is, is absolutely essential, even in a normal way of thinking, a normal person's way of thinking, not even trying to tap anywhere, but I feel like my self-talk has taken a step further once I realized what, uh, what I needed to do, um, and where I needed to be to start down the right path. 
And the final thing is anchor channeling. Anchor channeling is interesting because, uh, you know, I'm generally not an angry person. Um, I, I've been known to have a short fuse here and there, but I, uh, I, I'm a firm believer, 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 that uh, you can, everybody can get upset or quote-unquote angry at something very easily. And everyone has their list of things that set them off. Uh, for me, one of the things that gets me really angry is when uh, I go to the gym and people have left their weights out, left bars, have loaded plates everywhere. Um, I've never had an issue with people leaving dumbbells everywhere. That's one thing they respect, but they don't respect anything else. Um, so that really gets me go cooking every every time that that's like that. I, I get oh, I get lit up. Um, and usually that really helps me with my lifts that day. So uh, so I, I like that. Um, but I, I feel like I don't think you should get angry at a person or angry um, at, at the world or angry at everything and just be a sour puss person um, that's literally angry at the air that's moving next to them with the atoms and the butterflies and the roses. No, I don't think that. I think that you need like really check yourself if you're at that level um but i i, I think that getting angry uh, to do a good fitness lift getting angry to complete a project and prove someone wrong i love proving people wrong i love when people tell me i can't do something because then i say oh yeah try me so um and, and usually when I get challenged like that, that channels a level of a, a bit of anger or angst. Um, not towards the person, but towards like, okay, you think that I'm, I'm worthless, right? So I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the fact that you think, or I'm, I'm mad at the situation of what I'm about to do because you think it's not good or I'm not good. Um, so I always love to level up, whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, uh, career-wise. Leveling up is so great. It's such a great feeling. Um, I recently, unfortunately, was leveled down uh, from a company that laid me off. And I was basically kicked down a notch and was basically told, you know, thank you for your service, but we don't need you anymore. And that was demoralizing to me because I, I, I've never been told... Um, thank you for two and a half years of doing everything you can to try to help us in a realm we know nothing about, but we don't want you anymore. Like, that was really rough for me. Um, and I took that one really hard. And, uh, but now I'm in a totally different place with a company that's a heck of a lot more ethical. Um, the product's a lot more interesting, and... I am busy all the time. So, yes, I was angry. I was very angry. I used that to level up in other areas. Um, I used that to even level up in my job interviews. Um, I think I only did three-ish interviews before I accepted the that got the next job, um, which would happen to all. I started like eight weeks, just under eight weeks after I was told my dig was done. Um, so, it was kind of, uh, a blessing in disguise, because I had been trying to get out of there, uh, but I, I was very angry for a very long time when I was with that company. Um, sometimes I channeled it, uh, sometimes I didn't, but now I know when I need to challenge, ch channel it, when I need to challenge myself, and when I need to really just put my nose down and do the work, do the work, do the work, because I feel like a lot of people don't ever do the work, they want other people to do the work for them, so when you tap into your greater level of thinking, you know, the end result is doing the work, you still have to do the work, how you prepare yourself, how you get yourself ready, what frame of mind you're in is all on you and quite frankly some people are cut out for greatness and some people are cut out for mediocrity don't let anyone tell you that you're mediocre you can level up i know you can you know you can
again. You got just got to do the work. You got to do the work. You got to set yourself up for success, and then you go kick it in the ass. Thank you guys for listening and tuning in today. As always, there will be a few discount codes in the description for Axe and Sledge, as you saw earlier with the ignition switch. The Axe and Sledge line of supplements is uh, it's really good and has helped me level up in the gym um, exponentially over the last few months, well, since about March. Um, there's the uh, ring light and stand for my for my uh, camera here. Um, I will throw that in the description too. You can check that out if you're uh, looking for one, in need of one, or uh, just more or less curious to what I use. Um, and also, uh, there's a couple other things in there. There's uh, going to be an American Made Nutrition uh, link discount code as well. That is the all-natural supplement line that I represent um, as well. Quality natural products um, that support kind of the vegan, keto, natural people's nutrition needs. Um, and then there will be also a link in the description for uh, an Etsy store that my brother and his wife own. Um, they do ch children's clothing or baby baby onesies and, you know, those kind of things um, with advanced designs that my brother creates. So um, definitely check those out and, uh, you know, hit me up on Instagram or in the comments below um, if there's any requests, any any questions of how, how did I get to where I am mentally, what to, uh, or how, what advice I could give you someone, um, and as always, be the best you.